So I was literally just messing around on my phone thinking of what videos that I could do for the channel and I just got a notification that a package was delivered and lo and behold, I got two new Geogon in today. So ironically, these showed up in my local store. However, I had actually ordered them from someone just a couple days beforehand. So here we are, we got Chaos Mutasect and Darkest Sluggler. Today's video is gonna be on Sluggler. I've actually reviewed Darkest Mutasect right here in the Geogon Brawler pack that I posted a review of a couple days ago. Anyway though, you can see on the box, we got Sluggler in the corner. Sluggler folded up right there. You guys already know I love the Geogon packaging with this cool like yellow fire design on the side. Really, really cool. Very compact as well. You can see the first wave at the back. Anyway though, let's crack this guy open and let's take a look at Sluggler in all of his glory. So here is Slugler in, I'm not going to say ball form, I guess I'll just say the Geogon form that he has. And he's got all these spikes, definitely very reminiscent of some of the older Trap Bakugan. You can see that's where the, uh, the core, where he would drop onto the core. You can see kind of his head right there. All right, so we have to drop it from one card length uh, high. So let's just take a card. And you don't get any Baku cores with these, which makes sense considering that they just go in the main deck. So you actually just get Gate Trainer. So we'll just use the Gate Trainer for the purpose of this video. And there is Slugler. And here is Slugler up close and personal. And as you can see, he's definitely very low to the ground. You can kind of see that these translucent uh, purple pieces here are kind of like the tentacles rising up from the bottom. Uh, of course, he is, you know, supposed to be this big, like, tentacle monster. It kind of, it kind of works. It kind of doesn't, it's very, it's a very charming design, but it's not totally perfect when it comes to just having all the tentacles. These green pieces are actually supposed to represent like different heads or eyes. So overall, it's very, very creepy. I assume that if this thing was real, it would be like ridiculously creepy, ridiculously scary. He's also a very, very big Geogon. You know, if you actually put him on a gate trainer here, he's actually like ever so slightly longer than a gate trainer uh, or just a standard ability card. So that's actually really, really cool. Anyway, though, and speaking of the Gate Trainers and Ability Cards, let's take a look at those because we get some pretty cool ones in the set. So let's start off with the Gate Trainer here, and it is a Batrix-themed one. And then taking a look at the cards themselves, we have Rage and Claw for four. We got Ferrascal right there, and you get 800 B-Power. Let's flip it over and see what it does. And boom, there it is. You can just see how creepy this guy is. I guess this whole purple section on the back is supposed to represent like these crystals coming out. You can see all the tentacles, all those little eyes right there. Really, really creepy. He's a two cost, really, really cheap. Wow, 500 B power, four damage. And he's got Shadow Strike and on a Helix, you get plus 900 B power. That is actually pretty cool because he can get up to a 1400 B power with Shadow Strike on turn two, and that's actually not too bad. So I know this video was quite short, but that's pretty much all I have to say. You know, if I said any, anything else about this Bakugan, I would just be wasting time. It's a really cool design, very charming, but also very creepy in its true, I guess, Geogon form. The card itself is very cool. I'm definitely very excited to put it in some decks. I'm glad that we're getting some cheap Geogon. I don't think I've ever seen a one cost Geogon. So as of now, this is the kind of lowest cost Geogon that I've seen when it comes to the actual card. And honestly, it's super cool. I just cannot wait to actually use Geogon in some decks and actually get to play with them in games. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of Geogon? What do you think of Slugler more specifically? Thank you so much for watching though, everyone. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next video.